Hello and welcome back to Sonic Academy, guys. Uh, my name is Nate from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles, and today I'm taking a look at a brand new synth from Newfangled Audio. It's part of the Eventide group. It's their first foray into the VST synth market, and this is called Generate. Uh, it's a pretty interesting little synth. This. Let's dive in and take a look. Right, here we go guys, you'll notice I've got two plugins open, one is called Pendulate, it's actually the free version of Generate, so you can go and grab that right now, it's kind of a scaled down version with some of the same tech inside, although a, f a lot less options as far as the oscillators and the modulation sources go. It's also monophonic, whereas the full version is a polyphonic synth. Uh, but well worth checking this one out, although there's a lot more you can do with the full version Generate. Now, Newfangled Audio, uh, they refer to this as a new synthesis method uh, called chaotic synthesis. I'm not sure I entirely agree with it being 100% new. However, it is a really, really interesting spin on the sort of West Coast modular style made popular by Don Butchler. Um, if you look at the uh, Butchler easel, there's a lot in common Um with that synth. Uh, however, they, what I really like about this is they kind of put it in a package that's very easy to use. It's kind of organic, very uh, um, simple to get to grips with. Whereas the easel, you know, for a beginner, it's not in, it's not the most um, uh, easy synth to get to grips with. Um, so let's jump in and take a listen to this. It gives you some very original, organic sounding tones. Uh, here's one of the, just the default presets. I'm going to grab just a initialized preset here, and we're going to kind of jump in and rather than go through what every single thing does, just kind of build a preset as we go along. Um, so like I said, West Coast style, uh, in the sense that you've got a essentially a complex oscillator uh, fed, fed into a wave folder and then a low pass gate. And these are all very typical of the Butchler style of synthesis. Um, we're going to take a look at the generator first. Uh, we're going to just turn off the wave folder. And we've got basically a base wave, and this is how the complex gener uh, wave, uh, complex oscillators in the butchers work as well. They've, you've got a base wave and then a modulator wave that kind of interact with each other to create more complex tones. In the case of the butchler, you've got a saw, I would not a saw, a, a triangle, a square, and a sine wave, uh, I believe. Uh, this one, the spin that they've put on this is you've got the sine wave currently which is your base wave. And then they've added in a chaos generator, or actually five different algorithms of chaos generators that you can pick between um, that interacts with your base wave. So if we dial that in, so that's fully to the chaos generator now, and you'll hear yeah, that sounds kind of like a sign as well. You can adjust the pitch here. And that's the modulator wave. Um, the magic kind of happens when you blend between the two. But let's just take a listen to what happens when we dial up the chaos shape. This is where the chaotic as uh, aspect starts coming into play. Tuned against each other to create that animation or that movement in the in the in, in the chaos uh, generator as well, and let's bring that back now into uh, mixed with the bass wave. There's also a soft sync between the two as well that uh, drastically alters the sound as well. And adjusting the pitch of the um, modulator changes the way they interact as well. You also have two subs, uh, one octave down and two octaves down. 
So you can hear already we're getting quite organic uh, sounding um, tones just out of the oscillator before we actually even uh, moving on to the wave, wave folder and the low pass gate. So let's uh, let's check out the wave folder quickly because this is really where the magic for me starts to happen with the style of synthesis. Um, we'll dollop the mix. This here is a Vactral model. So um, Vactral in sort of hardware terms, uh, a lot of VCAs and um, in modular land were kind of created with a um, light sensitive resistor and an LED that shines on it. And they've kind of just modeled that functionality into this. You can enable that or disable it. Uh, let's bring the drive up on the wave folder. We've got the animated uh, wave folder selected here. We've got a standard wave folder as well. And then the fractal, which gives you a lot more sort of higher frequency content. It's a lot more brittle sounding. We'll dial up the drive. And you want to just be careful with the levels on this one. You can uh, overload it quite quickly. You can also turn on the limiter, which is handy. And the compression amount, uh, putting that... Clicking that will bring that into focus. You can actually set up the limiter there. Let's bring the level down just a little bit as well and then dial up the drive. And the amount of folds. Cool. Um, so now we're going to move into the gate section as well. And you'll notice there's no real uh, sort of amp section here. The low pass gate functions as an amp as well uh, as a filter. You can steepen the filter with the pulse setting here, adjust the cutoff and the resonance. And then obviously this envelope here is going to be governing the uh, amp behavior. So let's get into the modulation. We're going to kind of create like a little sequence sound first to begin with. Um, you can click through these menus down at the bottom to sort of highlight certain areas. We'll put this into mono mode for this patch. Uh, we'll down up a little bit of the portamento and set that to legato mode. Uh, we'll dial up some drift on the oscillators and the stereo width will turn up a little bit as well. Cool. Uh, so let's check out the sequencer first. I'm going to try and sort of um, imitate the uh, easel, which has a five-step sequencer on it. So we'll bring these steps down to five, which means only these five are going to play. Uh, we'll put in some values here for that. And let's set our uh, tempo to sixteenths. Now, this is also interesting. You can play forward, backward, or the pendulum mode, which will run forward and then backward. And then you also have a random mode as well, which is nice. We'll leave it in pendulum for now. Or actually forward, that's the typical sort of butchless style. So let's, uh, let's automate our drive for starters. Uh, to add modulation to um, parameters here, you just simply click on the plus sign and you'll see you'll be able to select any of the modulators down at the bottom here. We're going to grab the uh, steps from the, the step output from the sequence. Uh, we'll just click on that one and you'll see it'll, that goes automatically to full. You can adjust the amount of modulation just by clicking and dragging there. And let's take a listen now. <laughs> Cool. Um, so let's jump into our low pass gate. We're going to add a little bit more of a sort of gated feel to this using the filter. Uh, we're going to use the output of the uh, the ramp output of the sequencer here. Uh, so let's just highlight that frequency and dial in the ramp output. <laughs> Play around with the cool. 
Cool. Uh, let's just dial in a little bit more modulation. It's going to get the sound moving a whole lot more. Uh, we'll check out the S and H. Uh, we'll set this one to maybe eight dotted notes. And let's uh, play around with the resonance for this one. Um, let's go to the S and H there. We'll add a little bit of that to our frequency uh, cutoff as well. Cool. Uh, maybe just a little bit more uh, modulation with some LFOs. These can be unsynced as well. Maybe dial in some modulation with the shape. Let's grab a triangle wave. We can play around with some of the different wave folder algorithms as well. Really like that one. Cool, and let's uh, finish off our sound by adding some delay here. Uh, we can enable our delays. Uh, it's a real shame that they don't allow you to actually modulate the delay or the uh, effect parameters with the modulators as well. Uh, hopefully that's something that they can fix in an update at some point. We'll grab a eighth dotted delay time. <laughs> And a cool thing with the limiter as well, when you've got your effects in, uh, you can actually set up where the limiter is placed in the chain. You can have it before the EQ or after the effects, so you can actually get some really nice hard compression on the reverb and delay as well. We'll turn that all the way up to max and just take a listen. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I love it. It's just really, really cool, gritty, and um, quite organic sounds that come out of this. And we're going to make one more sound as well, just to really il illustrate how uh, organic this can sound. Um, we'll just zero this again and create a pad sound this time around. Let's use the... We'll try a different one, yeah, and just sort of dial in some settings for the oscillator first. something smoother like the turbine. Okay, let's bring in some of the wave folding. going to push the entire patch up. If we look in the global section, we can go in a whole octave up uh, just to offset that uh, lower uh, frequency modulation that's happening there. Um, we can also run this in a unison mode as well, which is nice. However, we wanted to do a pad sound, so we're going to leave that in poly and go all the way up to eight voices. So let's adjust the um, 
attack at release times to kind of make this into more of a pad. We'll add some modulation now. Let's bring our filter down. We'll turn the pulse up slightly and we can add an envelope to our uh, frequency cutoff. Let's just highlight that one and connect it to our ADSR. And we'll bring up the attack, and the decay, and the uh, sustain can come down slightly. Get a little bit more modulation going. Uh, maybe adjust the chaos shape with an LFO. Okay, let's just head back to the global. We'll bring up the drift again. Some stereo width. And let's finish off with the effects now. We'll dial in some chorus this time. Delay, we'll keep the delay short, seeing as this is a pad. We're going to use it more just to kind of... Uh, the delay mod turned up to kind of modulate, give it a bit more of a thicker chorus sound to it. And bring in our reverb. Also got key tracking and velocity available here, and we can assign mod wheels and such uh, from this control down here. Uh, it is also MPE enabled, so if you have a MPE controller, you can make use of it with this. So we now have a mod wheel assignment onto our frequency cutoff. And let's check out our finished sound, and you can just hear how the synth just tends to breathe by itself. It's got a real uh, cool unpredictability about it, which I really like. Very, very fresh sounds that you get out of this. And it's really easy to get different sounds just by switching out different combinations of the various uh, chaos generators and the wave folders. Uh, there's a ton of presets that you can go through as well that covers quite a lot of ground. That said, this isn't going to be a go-to synth that's going to replace your bread and butter sounds. Uh, it is quite a specific sounding instrument, but in a really good way. Uh, it's very fresh sounding and it's a lot of fun to play with. Um, so definitely a, a great addition to your collection if you're looking for something, especially um, I think for me, uh, for techno stuff, ambient stuff this is going to be a great sounding synth for you uh, and uh, it's a lot of fun to play with um, like I said one of the coolest things with this is they've taken a fairly weird and complex uh, style of synthesis and really kind of reduced it into a very um, very easily digestible package that's a lot of fun to program and just play
And there you have it. That is Generate from Newfangled Audio. It's available from Eventide now. And also, like I said, don't forget to go pick up the free Pendulate. It's also a lot of fun to play with as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you again soon right here at Sonic Academy. Cheers. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like. And if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Peace!